Hey people, welcome to another week. This is a very exciting day because today is Wednesday and of course you guys know I can't leave you hanging. We're going to talk. That's what we do on my vlog. If this is your first time of watching this, let me say welcome to the craziness we get up to when we do this. Alright, so this week I will be talking to you guys about five ways to spot a hater. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm talking about the haters that leave, the people who live with us, who live in our midst, the people who are disguised as our loved ones, as our friends, who deep down really can't stand us, but they pretend all the time. Now, five ways to spot this kind of people is what we'll be talking about this week. The first tip I have is this haters, or the hater in question, they're never really positive. They are always surrounded by negative stuff. If you have that one friend or one family member who, you know, is always bitching about something, if it's not the weather, it's how that person said hello to them, it's how that person's hair is not fine, or, you know, they just find something to be negative about. Even when you go up to them to ask them for advice or something, they're never positive. All they talk about is negativity. They sleep negativity. They eat negative stuff. They drink negative stuff. I mean, they're always bitter. These people, hmm. yes, until they prove me wrong, they are haters. Well, the second people in this category, they are those folks who never give you a compliment. Now, there's some days that you know how you're looking. You know you're really looking good, yeah? And, you know, these people, they see you. And they act like they don't even see what you're wearing or how you're looking. Like, if they tell you that you look nice, they'll literally die. You know? They can't give a compliment. Never. They'll look through you. And when you see them next week, they're spotting the same hairstyle you had on. Or they're wearing the same bag that you had on. Or maybe they're wearing the same clothes. They'll go and buy their own after they see you. They'll never say you look nice. So they'll literally look past you. But when you see them next, they're wearing the same exact thing. Instead of you to just admire it on me and say, ah, talk, you really do good to do. Never, they can never, they'll die first. The third people are people who never contact you when you have some good news. Now, everyone heard something good happen to you, maybe you signed a contract, or, you know, there's that one thing you've been praying for and it finally happened. This hates us, they can never, they will die first before they say congratulations on that contract. They know, they act like they don't know. Even when you tell them, Guess what? They come with, hmm, I know, but you know, you could have gotten better. Or, is that not the same thing someone had last week? Or is that not the same uh, house this girl lives in? Or is that not the same jeep? Me, I don't like jeep, so I want like a aeroplane. Hmm? Airplane, they call aeroplane. I want aeroplane. Those kind of people are haters. They can never, ever, ever congratulate you. Fourth people, they always have everybody's gist. If you have the kind of time you put to people's lives, perhaps your life will be better. These people, ask who slept with who yesterday, they know. Ask whose husband divorced who yesterday, oh, they know. Even before you ask, they know. Once they see you, they greet you, they just, oh, I had this happen. They live on country people, society people, hmm? celebration in place of ovation. Those magazines, they are, they are not in it, but they know who graces the covers. They know who, whose husband is cheating whose daughter is sick, Kai, not try. As in, if you notice somebody who has these four attributes, run away from them, they are haters. Number five uh, characteristics of a hater. This is even the most painful one. You see these haters, they smile in your face, eh? And behind your back, they are the first people that will, they are not gossip, so this was their, they are full-blown haters. Yes, they are the ones. They are the ones who, even when there's nothing to hate about this person, they do the most. They say the most. I don't like how she talks. She talks in a fake accent. Her hair is trashy. Her skin is this. Mm -hmm. Are you jealous? Do you want? Instead of you to just ask, hmm, sister, how does your skin look this fresh? They will tell you the secrets. It's a lie. They go behind your back and they slander you. I'm not talking about the people that go and write rubbish out there because... You know, those ones, they don't really know you. All they see is they just are jobless. Internet is cheap. They feel like just writing rubbish. I'm talking about the people who live with you, the people who eat with you, the people who smile in your face. But right behind you, they are up to no good. Next week, watch out for five ways to deal with these haters. Five ways to handle the hater raid. Trust now, I will always deliver.
now that was me auditioning for a movie i hope you guys liked the vlog yeah but i gotta go it's my day off i i hope you guys had fun watching this make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow me on twitter i am at Toadstar with a double R. Make sure you also follow me on Kick. Ah, I kick a lot. Of, I really like Kick. Mm. Also, visit the YouTube page and visit my blog, which is www.tokemakiwa.com. Until I come your way next time, let me do my breakdowns out. So I come your way next time. I love you. Take care of yourself. Stay beautiful. Keep the haters on their feet. Do things to make them hate you more. And love you again. Now, I really hate to leave you guys. Should I cry? <gasps> this is behind the scenes. It's like 6 minutes, 27 seconds now. I would edit it, but I will leave the behind the scenes so that you guys can like, go back to work. What are you looking at? Yes. You. Yes, you. All right, bye.